Hi guys, um, today I'm just going to give you a quick demo of installing OneDrive on my iPhone 7. So go ahead and launch the App Store. On the App Store, click on Search, which is at the bottom. Type in OneDrive and hit Search. In the results, you'll get Microsoft OneDrive. I've already installed this before, that's why I have the cloud. If it's the first time for you, you're going to have to enter your Apple ID and password. Uh, once you've done that, wait for the app to download. It is free. Once downloaded, click on open. Um, once it opens up, you will have to type in your email address and password. I have an Office 365 E3 license, so I'm going to choose OneDrive for business. If you have a Hotmail or Outlook, then just use OneDrive option. Um, once it loads up, just click on OK. Click on Allow so you can allow OneDrive to send notifications to your home screen. Then you've got a new option to enable OneDrive in iMessage. So go ahead and click Go to iMessage. Within iMessage, I'm going to quickly type in my own name uh, so that I can actually activate the App Store at the bottom. Then click on the four dots at the bottom left. Once you click on those, click on the cross sign which says store within there at the top click on manage and once you go into manage enable OneDrive and then click done so now you can add any of your documents or within iMessage and send them on the go so come out of iMessage and go back into OneDrive super cool Click on the X to close the current window. OneDrive for Business will load up. On the bottom right, click on the Me icon to view all current logged in accounts. I have both business and personal accounts logged in, but primarily only use my business account. Choose files from the icons at the bottom. This takes you to the main folder screen. Next, I will show you how to scan using the iPhone camera. To do this, click on the plus sign, top right, then choose Scan. Choose OK to give OneDrive for Business access to your camera. The camera will activate. Let me show you a quick demo picture. When ready, hit the blue circular button to take the shot. Picture will upload, showing status at the bottom. Once uploaded, open the document, giving you a further set of options Print, Delete, Make Available, Offline, etc. Send the file to various apps. Edit by clicking on the pen. The four little squares gives you thumbnail view. OK, let's go back to the main screen. Now going to show you how to move OneDrive into a subfolder. Click on the OneDrive for Business icon and hold it until an X appears. Hold down the icon with your finger and start dragging. I'm going to drag into the Office 365 folder I created earlier. Once over the folder, just let go. When it drops in, just hit on the Home button and all is saved. Now go back into OneDrive for Business. I will show you how to create a new folder. To do this, click on the plus sign, top right, then choose Create Folder. I'm going to create one called Test. Hit Create, top right when done. Now we are going to create a Word document. To do this, click on the plus sign, top right, then choose Word Document. This opens up Word. Note, I have Microsoft Word already installed. If you don't have, then please install this via the App Store. And it's free. Once the test doc is open, let's type in some random text. To save the document, hit the arrow in the circle top left. Click back on the document to reopen it. The icons at the top, first one to choose to edit, second one to view as thumbnail, 
third to search, fourth to send documents to another app. Let's edit an open document, now showing more options. Choose little man icon, top right, to share file, copy link or send copy. View in mobile view with limited editing features, hit again to come out of mobile view. Choose the A icon with pen on it, top right. This gives you a more feature set view to play with. Choose second icon from the top left giving you more options, i.e. autosave etc. Hit the arrow in the circle top left to save and go back. Click home button to go to main iPhone screen. To complete, close down OneDrive for Business, double tap home screen, then swipe up the OneDrive for Business app upwards with your finger. Hit the home button to return to the main screen. On the next screen I have listed my top five uses for OneDrive for Business. Hope you enjoyed this quick demo.